I'm an Ajman and I've lived all my life that I know where I can get the best quality, cheap prices, yeah. anything. Someone does it, everyone starts doing it. Hey guys, on my channel I talk about life and business in Dubai and I'm planning to interview more entrepreneurs to find out about how to open a business in Dubai, to share their stories and today I have a special guest he launched his own clothing line and he will share his story with us. But before we start, I want to tell you that we're gonna announce a giveaway and our guest uh, has prepared a gift for you. So one of you will be the winner. So I advise you to watch the full video, stay tuned so you will not miss it out. Hi Harun, thank you for coming today. So please, can you introduce yourself in a couple of words? Sure, sure. My name is Harun Jawed. I'm uh, 24 years old. I'm a mechanical engineer, certified fitness trainer, and uh, I run HS Apparel now. I'm from Pakistan, but I'm born and brought up here in UAE. So why did you decide to start your own clothing line? So basically, I used to buy a lot of clothes. So every weekend me and my cousin we used to go out and we used to buy clothes a day before that and whenever we used to go shopping we used to if you're buying a shirt or jeans or whatever we used to think like uh, maybe if this was some produced in a different way something like this or like that we used to have a lot of ideas in our head so basically after i graduated um, that was the time when everyone was losing their jobs so I couldn't actually find a job in my field that mm -hmm. was engineering. So I, I was free for an year maybe. I had nothing to do for one year. That's when I started uh, my course for fitness training. After that was done, I still had this in my head because I didn't want to work at that time. I was like, you know what, I've waited a long time. Let me just do something of my own. So this was there in my head already. So, we started. So you, yes, <laughs> you decided to quit your fitness career? No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my you fitness, do? yeah, but uh, it's a side thing. Uh, my main focus right now is on this. Mm -hmm. And what is your mission? Why, what's like... Where do I see HS Apparel? Yeah. Uh, I see... and. Let's say five years, I want HSRPL to be like a proper brand next to Zara, uh, Breshka, whatever, and malls and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like a proper brand, like people know. But do you see it like more affordable brand for... It is actually affordable. That's the, that's the good thing about us. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you see, I've actually worked a lot on this before production. Uh, it took me around, let's say, four to five months around because I was trying to make different clothes mm -hmm. but then in affordable prices as well so the prices are pretty affordable for the material that mm -hmm. we're giving people so. so if for example I'm planning to start my own fashion brand mm -hmm. in the UE mm -hmm. what are the main first steps to advise to make <clears throat> so basically, I just say how I started it off. What I did was uh, I had the I had the plans ready already. Like I knew what I wanted mm -hmm. to make. Mm -hmm. So I visited places for so the six month process that I was talking about. Basically, mm -hmm. I was I was researching about clothes, mm -hmm. like what material clothes, where did they come from, what's the like the life of the material as in if it's a good material cloth or not you get the point yeah what about quality quality it depends like uh, mostly the clothes in uh, ajman mm -hmm. are from egypt bangladesh pakistan mm -hmm. but if you go to dubai it's mostly china it's it's like day and night to be honest the stuff that you will get in mm -hmm. ajman you won't get in dubai so it's better in Ajman? It depends on what you need, to be honest. Okay. Mm -hmm. It depends on what, what cloth you're looking for. Let's say 
shirts or normal suits. cotton t-shirts yeah i recommend to go to ajman then ajman yeah because mm -hmm. um, like i said before as well the, the clothes are very famous from bangladesh and from egypt has very nice clothes by the way the, the cloth that they make mm -hmm. um pakistan and i i don't think um uh, that's available in dubai because mm -hmm. dubai is mostly like printed clothes and everything that you want silk and stuff yeah you'll get that in dubai where you won't find that in ajman mm -hmm. okay. yeah so basically those six months was just me like having trial and errors like doing your research research basically mm -hmm. to see if uh, which cloth was perfect for me for mm -hmm. the thing i need so that was the start of like if i want to sell something obviously i want people to get the best quality if mm -hmm. i don't like it yeah i'm sure people are not gonna like it yeah exactly so that that process took time and um, i made sure that i get the best quality like among everything mm -hmm. and then once you're you're satisfied with it then um, we're doing online basically right now we're, we're gonna be in a few few stores by next month inshallah mm -hmm. hopefully so right now it's just online so basically if you want to start something do your production make your social media accounts yeah make it presentable yeah and then from there like it's all about marketing at that point to be honest how you approach people mm -hmm. so you, you do your promotions you you know you you get influencers and basically your marketing is how it's gonna yeah we'll talk about marketing yeah, later yeah, yeah, yeah. so if for example let's say you said you started with searching the material yeah what are the places in the UE that you can recommend people where they can find materials or their markets or shops suppliers you want the insights <laughs> No, maybe like you, maybe don't give your own supplier yeah, yeah. but if you have several spots so basically um there are companies in Sharjah and Dubai that if you just give your idea what do you want mm -hmm. they they make the whole thing for you like just give them the idea okay you want this 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 mm -hmm. and this material and they get do the whole production themselves mm -hmm. but then you have places where you can get the raw materials yeah like just the cloth mm -hmm. and then you do your production according to what you want like how do you want it stitched yeah all right and so in my head th mm -hmm. that 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 process takes a bit longer mm -hmm. and it's a bit hectic but it's gonna be very cheaper for you if you do it that way if you come if you take the raw material yourself Mm -hmm. you get the production yourself mm -hmm. it's gonna be way way more cheaper if you want if you get it done from the companies that i was talking about and plus uh, if you if you get it done yourself like you know what you're making you know the material that you're using is top quality like you're satisfied with but it you mean you source material yourself exactly, exactly. but the production of the t-shirt let's yeah. say uh, you mean to hire someone and have basically like there in are house no 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 there are people uh, like tailor shops as well who so do you can just go to yeah, yeah who do productions as in in bulk mm -hmm. orders mm -hmm. and um, you can get it however you want the design to be made like and do you do design yourself i do the designing myself how where did you learn how to draw i was very good with drawing since i was a kid mm -hmm. and then um, when i was doing engineering so we you learn uh, 3d softwares mm -hmm. so i was good with that as well so i used to just draw stuff and then get it modeled myself mm -hmm. and then just put it to production and uh, you can produce what is the minimum amount let's say first you do sample right yeah and then if you're satisfied yeah uh is there is any minimum number quantity that uh, those companies production companies yeah can it do? depends uh, some companies that they, they take up to 50 pieces per order as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
but if you go to like proper proper people who take big orders the 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 minimum order is going to be like 100 pieces per per item per design yeah, yeah. so it's but like minimum can be from 50 to 100 pieces but if you want just to do i don't know 10 can you do 10 uh, it's <laughs> to the test thing it is even if you do 10 cuz sampling they don't charge you for sampling yeah but if you do 10 basically how this works is the more production you do mm -hmm. the cheaper it gets but so if you if you're making 10 it's gonna be like very expensive like uh, not the whole amount but you get the point like each the piece is gonna be, be the higher. cost is gonna be very high for you mm -hmm. so it's better to get it in but but i don't recommend doing that like to start off mm -hmm. like there's no point in making something like in bulk like in hundreds or thousands of pieces because uh, you don't know how it's the response is yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah, like. you need to test so just start off with 50 100 so but when you started, how many did you produce? I started <laughs> with, uh, so basically we started with five designs mm -hmm. and I started, I had uh, around 300 pieces for each. That's a lot. That's a lot because my, my idea was to, my marketing idea was to give a lot of it for free to influencers and mm -hmm. yeah, stuff like that. So I had that in my mind. So I was like, let's just do it in bulk. Let's. Mm -hmm. Let's just go for it. That's how <laughs> that's how it went. So, three hundred pieces per per design. And I saw that you have a flower, like a rose. Yeah. yeah. Does it have like a special meaning, or you just like the flower? Oh, no, it's, it's just, just like not nice. <laughs> I notice people like uh, in this region they yeah. like flowers, the especially <laughs> roses. It's actually it was in fashion around last year. Yeah. Like every clothing material, males, females, whatever everyone had flowers and bouquets and everything uh, yeah, going yeah, on. yeah yeah flowers were everywhere yeah, yeah, yeah. so basically that shirt was uh, the, the the material is velvet mm -hmm. so that gold uh, you know pops out yeah it's, shiny. it's very nice I like. yeah and uh what do you think did you consider like sourcing materials maybe fabrics from china so basically when i was about to start this I was gonna do the production and everything from my home country, Pakistan, because mm -hmm. uh, Pakistan's uh, clothing and Bangladesh clothing is very famous. Very, <laughs> very famous. I wanted to do that, but uh, unfortunately, 2020 Corona happened, yeah. and uh, it was very hard for me to travel. Mm -hmm. So then I had to do everything locally. Yeah. But inshallah, uh, in the future. Uh, that is the plan to get the production done from Pakistan because uh, the cloth, the clothes over there, the material is well famous. But if you compare Pakistan and China, Pakistan is better? Pakistan we, is mm -hmm. better for me, to be honest. Yeah, because it's a exactly. country. It's, it's, it's very convenient as well for mm -hmm. me. I'm not from Karachi, Karachi yeah. but uh, Karachi is like an hour away from here. Yeah. So it's like very convenient. It's like me going to Abu Dhabi or me going to <laughs> Pakistan. Yeah, you can go back the yeah true, the true. So that's the plan for the future, inshallah, hopefully, mm -hmm. to get production from Pakistan. Mm -hmm. Competition is very high on the market now. Yes. So how are you going to compete? See, like I started off, I said we're doing different clothing, but in very affordable prices but it's very generic like everyone is saying we have something special and unique uh, but th th the prices are still affordable like if you go online mm -hmm. our prices comparatively are like half of what people are giving you the things for mm -hmm. plus we, we're giving free delivery across okay. ua mm -hmm. and we do deliveries across gcc as well mm -hmm. but gcc is not uh, free it's it depends on where you want it yeah but across UAE, anywhere you want, it's free delivery. Plus, um, if you have any issues with the measurements or you don't like the product, mm -hmm. easy returns, mm -hmm. easy exchange. We don't charge anything for it. Yeah, that's different from other people. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, what about the materials? Is it something special? 
I saw that it's like it's a velvet. It's yeah. different. It looks nice. Thank you. So basically, that's the thing. Like um, even our normal T-shirts. Yeah. The quality of uh, the cloth, mm -hmm. it's very different. You, it, it doesn't show in the pictures, but once you wear it, it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's very comfortable, and the fitting is very different. It's not normal t-shirt, you know, the standard t-shirt sizes. Yeah. It's not like that. So I I had the samples that I made. I, I easily for every every design I, I had like five to ten different samples made because I wasn't satisfied either with the design with the stitching with the way it looked mm -hmm. something or the other was happening uh, another important question yeah. what license do you need to run a fashion brand in the UE so if if you're a local if you're a GCC national you, you can get the e-trade license and you can sell stuff online mm -hmm. in stores it doesn't matter but if you're not GCC or local then you have to get a proper trading license mm -hmm. in order to sell anything you want and you need to know office as well I think for the e-trader you don't need to, you can't have an office no you cannot you it's can just, just sell online yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but with the trade license uh, you can do whatever you want to online in store what delivery companies can you recommend? Um, there used to be a time where there used to be a few delivery courier companies, but mm -hmm. now there are so many courier companies. But it's better to just uh, have a proper like international courier company because then you know they're Professional. professionals. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not going to do something Screw <laughs> Yes. So um, we use a uh, Skynet courier company. Mm -hmm. You have Armex, you have, I think, Fetcher Closed. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as far as I know, they can also keep, like, you, uh, you can rent the storage space as yes, well. Yes, that's yeah. how Amazon works as well. Mm -hmm. So basically, they charge you per square, square meter feet. Of yeah. feet yeah. yeah, yeah. So then it's up to them like you just put the stuff online mm -hmm. on Amazon and the things already with them in their store mm -hmm. they do take care of the delivery the exchange the anything that happens yeah and you get your money after a month online in your bank account do you sell your clothes on Amazon as well, well it's gonna be there by next month as well inshallah on Amazon mm -hmm. so what are the best way to promote uh, your clothes in line from your experience from my experience, her. influencers are a very big thing right now. Mm -hmm. Even if you do paid production, paid uh, advertisements, I think if you get the right influencers, bloggers, mm -hmm. that helps a lot. How do you find the right ones? Because personally, I faced a challenge that most big influencers here, they don't have genuine following. Exactly. That, that's what I was coming to. So you should know how, how to know if someone has uh, fake followers or not. Yeah. Basically, um, I see accounts where people have 50k followers, 70k followers, and if you open their account, mm -hmm. their photo likes are 200, 250. Yeah, but even likes, uh, likes, sh because I'm from exactly. social media backgrounds, yeah, yeah. I know that everything, even shares yeah, yeah. and swipe up links, yeah. everything can be bought fake. True. So you can get you your account verified as well. Yeah, if you even ask for analytics, uh, you can even f find true. fake uh, results. True, true, true. I think it c the best way is just to do it manually and open followers the first, I don't know, f 100 exactly, and see. Exactly, exactly. Because you can see bots or not. Exactly. So. To get the right influencer, first of all, you need to know if the, the genuine followers, mm. yeah. And um, plus, it depends on what uh, audience you're looking for. Yeah. Like what uh, customers you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Like if if I have if I have some designs that I think that Arabs are gonna wear, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go to a Indian influencer or a Pakistani influencer because it's, it's not gonna be worth it for me. Yeah. So basically, you have to see what that influencer, what what audience they have. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and then approach them and talk oh. to them about it. And so yeah. you recommend influencers? I recommend influencers. What about paid advertising? Paid advertising works as well, mm-hmm. but in my experience, I, I feel like if you if you get the right influencers, mm-hmm. it helps a lot. But do you pay influencers or it's mainly barter you? No, it's just like um, they get our Products. stuff for free. Mm-hmm. Um, some ask for lifetime discounts. <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so basically, uh, Someone actually asked me like, uh, okay, I'll do it for you, but I want 50% off everything for the rest of, of my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on people to people. Some people charge you money mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Some people just just g- give them free stuff and they're good with it. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. What are your nearest plans? Are you planning to open physical stores? Are you planning to sell your clothes in other countries? Um, like I said, we're doing, uh, we, we do all across GCC right now mm-hmm. and by next month uh, we've, we're, I'm in touch with uh, a few shops in Dubai, mm-hmm. so they're ready to keep my stuff over there, mm-hmm. like it's a proper thing. Because we started very recently, we started on 15th of December. Yeah, so it's just yeah. like, so it's one, like very one. decent. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah, the way it's going, I'm I'm very satisfied, and I can see us expanding in a few years, maybe from now. Mm-hmm. So let's see. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And how do you find those shops partners that will accept your clothes and they will put um, it in their stores? Uh, so they, they work like uh, some shops for like uh, they wanted a percentage of every um, sale. Sale. Mm-hmm. Some shops, they do this for their own advertising. Mm-hmm. So basically, I'm keeping my stuff over there. Yeah. They don't want anything of it. Mm-hmm. But they just want people to come to the shop through anyone. Like, like if you own the shop yeah. and I, I, I come to you, can you keep my stuff over there? Mm-hmm. You're getting people to just come to your shop from mm. through me. Yeah, so, so you're yeah. bringing traffic. <laughs> exactly. So they don't want anything, mm-hmm. no money, no... Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, they don't want anything of that. Plus, um, now, coffee shops and stuff in Dubai, mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of a trend right now. Yeah. Like coffee shops, they, they, they actually want influence, uh, it's, um, businesses like these mm-hmm. to come and display their products over there mm-hmm. they don't charge anything yeah so basically it's just a coffee shop yeah you go there you like something uh go buy it mm-hmm. and they don't want anything from you it's like it's a, it's a thing in dubai like uh, everything is about aesthetic right yeah so basically coffee shops look good with paintings and clothes and perfumes and stuff like that like and once <laughs> someone does it Everyone starts doing it, mm-hmm. so it's it's something like that's coming up in the trend. Dubai. Yeah. And what about packaging? Uh, all these boxes or shopping bags yeah. where you put all your clothes. Uh, where can you find those production companies as well? I know you can go to Dragon Mart <laughs> and buy it from there. Yeah. But it, if you uh, let's say you want to sell bags and you want to put them in a nice box with yeah. a nice packaging. Yeah. yeah. So Do basically, you know? um, there are some printing presses. Mm-hmm. You know how uh, they make uh, the visiting cards as well. Yeah. Some printing presses they they make bags, boxes. Oh, they do everything. Whatever you want. Mm-hmm. So, whatever you want it printed on it, whatever they, any size you want. Mm-hmm. They, they, they come in standard sizes as well. Yeah. And then if you want them custom made for you mm-hmm. according to your dimensions, they get that done as well. So for shipping, basically, if you sell online, it's better to produce a box. So a shipping company or delivery company, they can just wrap it in their own box. And it, it, if, if you it doesn't make sense to produce bags. No, it doesn't. If you sell online. Actually, uh, some courier companies, mm-hmm. the, the, the one that I work with, uh, if you ask them, they, they do they they're gonna do the boxing thing themselves. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to pay for it. 
Oh, okay. They do everything themselves. But that's some courier companies. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if every courier yeah. company does that. Okay, thank you very much, Harun, for this information. It was You're very welcome. useful. And now it's time to announce the giveaway. So, guys, if you want to win any item from his shop, uh, you just need to follow certain rules. Leave a comment under this video, uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and one winner will be chosen at random next week. So, good luck and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.